can't. Um, and uh, I have it saved in my calendar to present. So, short answer is yes. Why the application that you're doing? Yes. Hi, y'all. Sorry, my camera is not working for some reason. Every time I try to turn it on, it says, please select another video camera in settings. Well, I don't have another video camera. So anyway, I'm going to be messing with that while I let okay. people in. No worries. Let me put on the light behind me. I realize it's very dark back there. All right. Okay. Um, usually it's not money related as much you're kind of that one's like you just kind of do the motion for money like that what's the price what like what's that how much and that makes sense trying to clarify all right um let's see okay so now let's do our food signs um we always start with our we always start healthy we go healthy and then we go down to our junk food later so I might do junk food tomorrow. Um, not tomorrow. I'm sorry. Next Tuesday. <laughs> Teacher mindset every day. <laughs> so what we're going to first do is we're going to do the sign for food, which I did show you all earlier is food, food. And then we also have the sign for eat. So eat is going to be one motion, eat. So if you notice food is like it's tapping multiple times, like food and then eat. Um, that's something that does come up later with some other signs as well. Um, it's kind of a helpful little hint in my mind is because if it's multiples, you're talking about almost the noun itself, like it's the thing itself. But then if it's like one time, that's like that verb is the action of it. So that's just kind of how I always think about it is if you separate that and it'll help later on when you pick up on other signs. So, all right, then we have fruit. So the sign for fruit is going to be an F. You're gonna have it on the corner of your mouth and you're gonna go fruit. Or you can do the motion like kind of like fruit as well. I've seen, I've seen both, fruit, fruit. Mm -hmm. So the first fruit we're gonna learn is apple. So apple's gonna have that X and you're gonna put it right where we had it for our fruit and you're gonna go apple, apple. Mm -hmm. And if you're talking about a green apple or a red apple, oh, Miss Katie, have we sent out the color words yet? Have we already? I can't remember. Okay, so we have our own little, we have a video that does have the color words for you guys that you guys can watch later. And it's just uh, the, the main colors and a few extra ones at the end. Most of the time with colors, sorry, I'm, I'll add this in now. Um, most of the time with colors, the more, you know, like specific you get, you know, like seafoam green, you would finger spell and then do the sign for like green. Um, so there's not really a lot of sense for like turquoise and teal and lavender, those ones you finger spell with saying it's a purple or it's a green, if that makes sense. So this video is like, I think like two, maybe three minutes. It's very short and it has all the signs there, but I'll show you red and green apple now. So red is gonna be red, 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 mm -hmm. on your chin. So you go red apple, red apple, mm -hmm. then green, it's going to be a G and you're going to shake it green. So green apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The nice thing about colors is a lot of them are very similar like that, where they kind of have the first letter and then they make that shaking motion. So that'll be helpful. 
Um, the next fruit we have is orange, which is orange, orange. Mm -hmm. And this is also for the color as well, which is nice. Some words don't do that. Most of the time, a lot of signs do not have them kind of the same. They're different for different meanings, but this one does, so orange. Then we have strawberry. So strawberry is going to be, you're going to have your thumb again, touch your chin. So it's a little, yeah, it's like a weird kind of elbow motion. You're like, I feel like your elbow is sticking out. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Strawberry. Then we have grapes. So grapes is going to have your non-dominant hand kind of have the back of it. Your dominant is going to come in and just tap on it. Grapes. Mm -hmm. And it's like the grapes on a vine. If you think about it, all the vines attached and stuff with the grapes on them. Grapes. Grapes. Then we have banana. And banana is so easy. It's banana. You make the motion of peeling a banana. Mm -hmm. Then we have peach. So peach is going to go peach. And it's like, if you think about, you know, the phrase like peach fuzz, it's kind of like that peach. Mm -hmm. Then we have lemon. And that's going to be, you have that L thumb in the corner of your mouth and you go lemon, lemon. Mm -hmm. All right. And then our last fruit. And if someone corrects me, I'm, we've had this discussion every time we do food, but it's tomato. <laughs> Um, cause I, I jump back and forth. I put it with vegetables. I put it with fruit and I keep, everyone's always like, no, I think it's this. It's an ongoing debate y'all. And I'm pretty sure it's fruit, but you know, it's okay. It's, we're still going to learn the sign for tomato. So tomato is going to go red, red. And then you're going to go like kind of your hand in that O and you're going to go slice. So it's like you're cutting it. I, it's red slice. Mm -hmm. And that's tomato. It is both. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> So our tomato. All right. Now let's go back through our uh, fruits and then we'll get on to our vegetables. So we had eat or no food first. We'll do food first. Food with the tapping. Mm -hmm. And then we had eat, eat mm -hmm. with that one time. Mm -hmm. Then we had our fruit, fruit or fruit. Either way, it's like a very slight little like circular or the bounce back forth fruit. Mm -hmm. Then we have apple, apple, mm -hmm. orange, orange. Mm -hmm. Oh, I skipped red apple, red apple, mm -hmm. and then green apple, green, the G, and then apple, mm -hmm. green apple. Then we had strawberry, strawberry. Mm -hmm. And then grapes, grapes. Mm -hmm. Then we had banana, banana. I lucked out, bananas are my favorite fruit. And I was like, yes, I don't have to really memorize this one. Whenever like we would practice learning signs and he had, they would ask us, what's your favorite fruit? And I'm like, Oh, banana, it works out well anyways. I was very pleased with myself. I don't know why that was such a proud moment for me, but it was. Then we have peach, peach. Mm -hmm. Then lemon, lemon. Mm -hmm. And then tomato, bread slices, tomato. All right, good, 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 good. All right, awesome, okay. So now let's move on to our vegetables. And um, yes, I'm checking. Here, I'll add this real quick just because it is usually, I think put, I typically put it in here is ketchup. So um, most of the time for other signs like ketchup and mustard, you have to, in ranch and all those dipping sauces, you have to fingerspell. But there is like kind of local, at least I've seen here in Alabama, um, a, they will use the sign for fruit. So ketchup, they'll make this motion for ketchup. Um, and like I said, since it's kind of, I've seen it here, I can't verify that it's everywhere. Um, I have a coworker from Tennessee 
And when she first came, we started the same year, we're teacher besties. And when we went to the cafeteria, the kids were like, oh, we need ketchup, we need ketchup. And she looked at me, she goes, you need fruit. And then they would go in and they'd get their ketchup packets. So she's like, oh no, that must not mean that. And um, we had, and it was kind of funny because I was talking with her about it because she's deaf and she's been born deaf. And I was like, that's not the sign you use. She goes, no, we don't, we just finger spell it. So it kind of changes depending on which place you're at. But the one I see most here is ketchup. Okay, now we'll do our vegetables, which I don't have as many. So you can more than welcome to throw any more vegetables that you guys have. Um, my list is always kind of short with veggies. So the sign for vegetables, you're gonna have a V and you're gonna go vegetable, vegetable. Mm -hmm. Then we have corn. So there's two ways you can do corn. Corn, it's like kind of that motion of like bouncing it back and forth, corn or corn, corn, yeah. It's easy. It's very much very visual. Corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. Then we have potato. So the sign for potatoes, you're going to have a fist and you're going to have kind of, you're going to have a V, you're going to bend them and then you're going to tap it on top. Potato. This is also for like potato chips as well. Um, people will, this is what's used as well. If you're trying to really like explain I'm talking about I want actual chips or I want actually like potatoes themselves. I would finger spell like chips, just be like chips, like potato chips, or um, just be like potatoes mashed. Well, I'll add that mashed, mashed. It's like kind of like you're squeezing them between your hands. So mashed potatoes, something like that to really emphasize. But most of the time people pick up on it. That's very not often that it happens, but I have people who ask me, well, how are you trying to explain this? So that's why I always add it in. Um, if you're talking about a sweet potato, you will use the sign for, you do use the sign for sweet, which is sweet, 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 mm -hmm. sweet potato. Excuse me. I'm very, I have a lot of hiccups tonight. I apologize. <laughs> then we have cabbage slash lettuce. I actually recently came across, there's another one that's for lettuce. I don't see this one as often, but I will add this in just so you guys are, know it. The main one I see for cabbage and lettuce is cabbage. It's like an open, open, very open C. It's not close like a C, but it's like open. And then the palm, cabbage. And you're not hitting yourself really hard and doing damage. You're just kind of tapping, cabbage. Mm -hmm. um, it comes, at least for me, it comes to the mind of head of lettuce. You know, when you talk about you have a head of lettuce, you have the head and there's like the little leaves that, the, that you peel off. I don't know, that's my visual way of remembering it. Um, you guys, if you have something else that works for you, good for you, that's mine. Um, the next one I have that I've seen is lettuce is the L. You do the same, it's up here, but it's L. I've not seen this one as often. I've seen it once or twice this year. Um, so I do typically more this one for lettuce and cabbage, but if you see this one, that could also be lettuce. Then I have carrot. So carrot is carrot. Carrot, like it's just crunching it. Yep, carrot. And then my last vegetable one, and there's always more, and, I'll forget, and I always forget, and a lot of them you do finger spell, is pickle. So the two ways to do pickle is you can do pickle. It's that pointer, it's that same motion. Now this one I recommend almost making the motion that it's like sour, like pickle. And the other one is you have a P and you go pickle, pickle. Mm -hmm. So someone always asks me when we do pickle, if there's a sign for cucumber, unfortunately it's finger spelled cucumber. <laughs> Most of the time when you come to like broccoli, cucumber, they are finger spelled. Um, I have seen some people for broccoli do broccoli with like the three, that's an X and on top, but this is also the sign for champ, like champion. Um, so I always like, I'm like, that one really throws me. They like always fingerspell and then they go broccoli. So most of the time when in doubt, you fingerspell. Cucumber is one of those. And I think it's funny because people are always like, so you have a sign for pickles, but you don't have a sign for cucumbers, even though they're like technically were the same, like cucumbers become pickles. I don't know what happened there. I think it's because pickles are so popular, I guess. I don't know. But yes, unfortunately, no sign for cucumber. Um, any other vegetables you guys can think of? There's always so many and so many, unfortunately, are finger spelled. Cauliflower is finger spelled. Um, 
Wait. See, you say pickles are superior. Unfortunately, I don't like pickles. I have tried my whole life to like pickles and still don't like them. So whenever I have to make a sign for a pickles, I'm always like, I mean, I really make that stink face go with it. I'm like, mm -mm, I don't like it. I don't even know what that is, Joseph. Jacama, I don't know if you're teasing me because I, that might be a very fancy one, but I'm, no, you fingerspell that, sir. <laughs> um, I did think of one, beans. So the sign for beans, I know those aren't really vegetables, but we're going to include them. I'm, I'm not teasing. Wait, what would you say, Joseph? I'm not teasing. That's a real, okay. I'm going to have to look this up and I will ask people tomorrow if there's a sign for Jacama. I, I can't even pronounce it right. But anyway, so I was going to say for beans, what you do is you're going to go beans. It's like you have the pointer finger and then you're tapping them like the beans in a pod kind of like it's almost like kind of how peas are. You know, it's also can be used for peas, beans, peas. Um, if you're talking about what kind, like if you're talking about black eyed beans, yeah, black, black eyed peas, sorry. Really gets my brain with beans and peas sometimes. Um, what you do is you do the sign for black, which is black, black eyed peas. Or if you're talking about baked beans, most of the time my fingers spell baked with this. So B-A-K-E-D beans, baked beans. Um, squash, squash, I believe it's just squash. Just like that hand motion again. So it's almost the, mo so instead of being, like if you're trying to say, I like squash, I'm pretty sure that's it. I'll double check. I don't have to say squash often. So that's why it, when they're not, when you don't use them as much, it's always like, I'm not always as sure, but I will double check that one, squash. Um, he comes. Interesting. I will look that up, sir. Any other fruits or veggies? Because we didn't do any fruits. I didn't give you all a chance to give ask any fruits. Any that you guys can think of. Blueberry. Okay, good. Okay. So blueberry, what you do is you do the motion for blue, which is a B. Y'all just getting to have the, the color words anyways, just picking them up from all these different fruits. So you do blue and then berry. It's like a little ball on the end, berry. So blueberry. Blueberry. Um, for pineapple, I have seen uh, one being, I've seen two ways. One will just full finger spell, just pine apple. The other one is you do pine, you finger spell pine and then you do apple. That one kind of, um, that's typically what I sometimes will see with kinds of fruits like that. Like if you're talking about um, like raspberry, you finger spell the whole thing, raspberry. Um, blackberry is one you can do. Blackberry, blackberry. Um, I think that's all the berries. Strawberry, blackberry, blueberry, raspberry. I think that's it. Um, but yeah. Okay. Are we good on our fruits and veggies? Let's go through our vegetables one more time. And then what we'll do is we'll just, how you would describe foods and then we'll stop there. Because I know I've given you guys so many signs. So let's go all the way back to our vegetable. Vegetable. And then we had our corn. Corn or corn. Mm -hmm. Then we had potato. Potato. And then we had our, which is also potato chips. Then we had our sweet potato. Sweet potato. Mm-hmm. Then we had our cabbage slash lettuce. Cabbage, lettuce. Mm -hmm. It's almost like your hand really kind of bends back because you don't want to be like full, like hitting your hand, head. It's like just the palm. Yeah, very, I know it's a very weird sign. <laughs> then we had carrot, carrot, carrot. And then our pickle, pickle or pickle. Mm -hmm. All right. We then, let's see. Okay. So the next, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We have five more. Um, and then we'll just review a little bit since we have time. Um, so these are going to be ones that you, how you would describe how a food tastes. So the first one I have is sour. Sour is the same motion for um, like the pickle. So sour. And again, you really like almost like you purse your lips, like 
ooh, like if you take a bite of something that's really sour and you're like, ooh, that's sour. Then we had sweet, which we learned, sweet, sweet. Mm -hmm. And then for hot, like it is a, um, like it's too, it's over too cooked. It's not spicy hot, it's just hot, hot. Is you're gonna start with your hand kind of open in front of your mouth and you go hot, 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 mm -hmm. hot. Then we have spicy. Spicy is gonna go spicy. It's like you have your wiggle and your fingers back and forth. I visually think about flames coming out of your mouth. Like if you bite something really spicy and like they always have that motion of the flames, it's like it's the flames, it's really hot. So that's spicy. And then we have cold. So cold's gonna be cold, cold. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go through those five real quick again. And then I see a few people said some stuff, so I'll add those. And then we'll just kind of review a little bit more, if that's okay with y'all. Um, so we had sour, sour. Then we had sweet, sweet. Then we had hot, 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 hot. Mm -hmm. It's like you have it right in front of your face and then it's just slamming down, hot, yeah. Then we had spicy, spicy, mm -hmm. and then cold, cold. I will add this with cold. Some people will say if it's like when you're saying it's frozen, you know, some people say, well, it's, it's frozen, frozen. It's like your hands are flat and then they curl up, frozen, frozen. Mm -hmm. Some people will use that as well for um, saying if something's cold, they're like, well, my food, my food, it's frozen. Like it's so cold. So, all right, let me see. Okay, so the two we had that someone mes messaged was French fries and then sardines. So French fries is gonna be, you have an F and you go French fries. You just bounce them back and forth, French fries. Mm -hmm. Sardines, you finger spell, sir. It's a very, I would, you could say fish. It's like a, you point to your hand and you make that motion of like its tail fish. Fish, sardines but most of them, oh, that's a good one, salty. <laughs> um, you do just finger spell sardines. So for salty, you would do the sign for salt, which is you have two Vs and you go salt, like, and you have the ones on top tapping back and forth, salt. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see, I don't typically see a sign for pepper. Um, most of the time people finger spell pepper. Um, that is one I'll check because I didn't think about that salt and pepper, um, but I will, check and see with someone, see if they have seen anything. I haven't, but also most kids aren't really asking for a lot of pepper. You know, they're third graders. They're very much, where's my ketchup? All right, pizza. We're getting into our junk food a little bit. So the sign for pizza, there are two ways you can do it. The first one is you're gonna go pizza. It's like you're holding a slice and you're sliding it in, pizza, mm -hmm. pizza. Then the other one is you're just gonna have your V, puts into two X's and you make the Z motion, pizza. It's like the two Z's in it, pizza, mm -hmm. so pizza, pizza. Okay, um, we will get through theirs. Let's see, I'm sorry. My dogs have just been so determined and I'm like, he, he can wait, I promise. He's got water out there, he is fine. He's just being a big baby. Um, We'll add this one. So hamburger and shake. So if you're talking about a hamburger and a milkshake, what you do is a hamburger is hamburger, hamburger. And it's like, if you think about it, it's like making the meat when you're like forming the patties, hamburger. Mm -hmm. And then a milkshake is gonna go, the sign for milk, which is just like squeezing it. And you, it's, what is milkshake again? Something, I'll check on that one. Cause I'm sitting here thinking, no, there's a specific way you do it because this is just milk. I'll come back on that one. Let me add that one here. I always add to my list in case I'm like, I'm not sure. And I'd rather make sure to check and then tell you guys next week than just say, well, it's this and it's not. Let's see. Okay. All righty. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll stop with the new signs. So save, if you have any other food signs you can think of, save them for next week. I promise we're gonna get to more other stuff. There's still a good amount of, on my list. We'll get to our types of drinks and our, um, our desserts 
and our really junky junk foods that are just like they're the good stuff. We'll get to all of that next week. So if you hold those out, we will um we'll do those next week. I, I know I've said about 20 times next week. So the word next week, I've heard myself say it about 20 times. That's what I meant. Okay, let's go back through some of our um food and let's let's see. Are y'all able to hear me? Okay. Well, Michael, I think you're frozen. I love how my mind is like, oh, sign. If you can't hear me, you can see me. But I mean, it is, I guess we've learned this frozen. Let's see. Let me type real quick. Okay. Hopefully Michael can join back in, but we're not learning any new words. So it won't be the worst thing. Um, let's see. So yeah, let's go back. Let's kind of go over our fruits and veggies again, just a little bit more. I think those are fun ones. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say them and then I wanna give you guys a chance to sign them. So let's go back here. All right, so the first one we'll do is strawberry. Y'all remember strawberry? Yeah, strawberry. Honestly, I'm impressed that you guys at least were in this area because it has taken me months to remember strawberry. I always do it wrong. And then even when I like learned ASL and was really like kind of pretty fluent, I would say, I don't like to always call myself like like completely like fluent because I'm still learning in the sense of you're always learning. And um, I just respect that those are for people who are actually deaf and, you know, have grown up with the language. But like this was the one that just would take me forever. And my students, I would say, I would say secret on accident. Be like, okay, well, do you want oranges or do you want secret? And they're like, strawberry. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Strawberry. So this one took a long time for me to get. So I'm impressed. Then we have our peach. Peach. Mm-hmm. Then we have our tomato tomato mm -hmm. tomato then we had our apple apple mm -hmm. and then let's see lemon lemon to help with this one, it's that motion of sours over here. So lemons are sour. And then that L to come in to show that you're talking about lemons. Mm -hmm. Lemon. All right, let's look at some of our vegetables. We have potato. Potato. Mm -hmm. We have um, cabbage slash lettuce. Mm -hmm. Cabbage. Then we had corn. Corn, corn, whichever corn. My hands are trying to do it wrong. Corn, corn. Um, and then pickle. Pickle. Mm -hmm. So it could be the pointer finger itself, or if you make that K motion, it's your then it moves to the middle finger. Mm -hmm. Pickle. And let's see, sweet potato. Do y'all remember that one? Sweet potato. Sweet potato. I'm a little biased. Potatoes are my favorite. I feel like every time we have usually our food conversation, like our food class, I always talk about how that's my one food that if I had to live off of the rest of my life, it'd be potatoes because of how many different ways you can like sign, like not sign them, make them. You have French fries, hash browns, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes. I mean, it just keeps going. And like that's always my biggest one is I'm like, potatoes are the way to go. All right. Let's review our last of five words again, and then I'll stop. All right. So we had our sour, sour. Mm -hmm. Then we had our sweet, sweet. Mm -hmm. Then we had our hot, hot, hot. Then we had spicy, spicy. Mm -hmm. And then we had our cold, cold, mm -hmm. cold. All right, good. Okay, 
Does anybody have any questions? Are we good? I know I've given you guys so many signs and um, that's what I typically, that is kind of like how our class goes is we do have a lot of signs, but that way you have them kind of already saved in a file so you can review them, practice them and learn them if you need to kind of take the time later. So, all righty, let's see. So when next week when we'll finish up our food words and then I think, what is the next thing we'll do after that? Do foods. And then I think we'll start feelings, like actually kind of having, um, talking about emotions and feelings. I think that'll be, they'll kind of connect together. We'll see. But all right. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of y'all's week and I will see you guys all next Tuesday. Bye guys.